And a little discoloration, but I don't see any major problems with it. Not yet. I got the uh, I got a screwdriver stuck through my flywheel there. My impact air tool should pop right off. There we go. Easy peasy. Had to tap on this a little bit with my rubber hammer to get it to come loose. The keyway looks okay. I had to tap on it a little bit, just lightly. It's in there very, very snug. There we go. You can see the rounded side goes in, in the groove. Next thing is to take off the oil pump. Okay, I loosened up all of those bolts to take the oil pump off and it just comes right out of there. And there's my oil pump. I'll give that an inspection later. The next thing I'm going to do is take these connecting rod bearings off on each one and check the clearances. I use one of these uh, plastic gauges I picked up at Napa. They have size 12 nuts on them and my cheater bar because they're really tight. I have all these nuts broken loose. I think I just got ripped off. Damn. I wonder if I dropped it out somewhere. I got two. Let me check the other one. See the little wax string in here? I guess you gotta be careful they don't fall off. I want to make it stretch across. Okay, I got a little short piece. I'm just going to lay it right across. I'm going to put my bearing cap back on the correct way. Put my nuts back on. Okay, I'm going to torque these down to 38 foot pounds. When you're doing this, uh, important not to let this crankshaft turn. Feeling pretty tight. Let me double check my setting. There we go. This one's not torquing. This one just keeps going. Well, I kept turning it, trying to get it to reach the specified torque, and the bolt just snapped off. I figured out why I had trouble and broke that bolt off. I was reading the instructions for torquing the uh, main bearings, not the connector rod bearings. The correct torque for the connector rod bearings is 25 foot-pounds. So that should help. <laughs> the way it's supposed to work, and you can see the mark left by the wax inside the cap there. And then compare it to the width of the little marks. It lines up real good right there. So that is, this is uh, 0 0.038 millimeters. You could also check the width of it on, on there. Anything between 0 0.02 and 0 0.050 is good. So those, uh, even though I destroyed the bolt, it was good before I destroyed the bolt. Alright, I'll check the other ones.